It has been one week since our last update on the current eruption of Kilauea Volcano on Hawaii Island. The U.S. Geological Survey's Hawaiian Volcano Observatory reports the activity has remained mostly the same. The eruption is still confined to the summit area, with no sign of magma migrating down into the rift zones. Lava from the west vent continues to supply the lava lake in the crater below. The inlet site where lava is entering the lake has a small upwelling zone, raised slightly above the surrounding lake surface. In this photo, taken by geologist Matt Patrick just before Valentine's Day, the flow of the lava lake around a small island has formed a heart-shaped outline. Only the western half of the lake is active. The eastern half is stagnant and has a solidified surface crust. As of February 17th, the active half of the lava lake was approximately 217 meters deep, just over 700 feet. Given the depth of the crater, no active lava is currently visible from publicly accessible areas in Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. However, the plume and nighttime glow can be seen from many different locations. According to geologists, the lava lake is in the deepest part of the crater, below the lower ledges seen on the left side of this panorama. The eastern downdrop block extends to the right of the photo. This map provides an overhead view. Scientists say the downdrop block, formed during the 2018 summit collapse, creates an enormous amount of space for lava to fill before spilling onto the older caldera floor at current eruption rates. It will be years before this occurs. Sulfur dioxide emission rates remain elevated at 1,200 tons per day. These measurements are showing a gradual decay to lower levels. As this eruption nears the two-month mark, the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory continues to closely monitor Kilauea seismicity, deformation and gas emissions, and maintains visual surveillance of the summit and the East Rift Zone.